Today, we need to investigate. I have gotten news that you can get a free godly in toilet tower fence. And I need to figure this out. Right now, I only have three godlies. We need to turn that into 3,000. But before we start investigating, like and subscribe. Because if you don't, then Titan Clock Man is gonna run away. Okay, but for real though, I, I need to investigate how to get a free godly. I have seen many videos on YouTube saying how to get free godly toilet tower fence. Okay, the first one, do this for free. I turn a one cameraman into 9999 godly. Alright, we need we need to figure out how to get 9999 godlies. I'm gonna investigate. Okay, you said he pioneered the most popular strategy for getting mythic. So look, you got unlimited mythic for free. You want the 900 9099. Okay, he said the old strategy is Palm Paradise Nightmare Mode. And then he said you don't place down a unit. Okay, he's trying to make it the wave 10. Let's see what happens next. 100 coins for making it the wave 10. Normally for Nightmare, you get 600 coins for beating it. So that is only one sixth of the total coins you can make. But that's not bad. 100 coins, and that's really easy to do. Literally anyone can do it. I mean, if you have a really good strategy on Nightmare, you can probably auto skip the entire time or most of the time. But you'd have to beat it in 18 minutes for it to be worth it so you get a hundred coins for only making it the wave 10 in three minutes now that is not bad I have an evil idea. What if I make it so that coins scale? So like the first 25 waves, you get like a little bit less, and then the next 25 waves, you get more. <laughs> That'd be evil. I don't know. I don't think people would like that though. Probably not gonna do that. Oh, let me know what you think of that idea in the comments. Oh wait, how old is this video? He's going to Turkey Town. Oh, two months ago. Oh, and then it looks like he has the Microsoft Store version 2, I think, so he can do this on multiple accounts. So that's definitely a solid strategy. If you had a macro to do that on, like, two accounts at once, and that would be easier, like, a lot easier than making an auto farm and auto place things. You could get, like, 200 coins every three minutes, 4,000 coins every hour, basically, and then if you do that for an entire day, then that's, like... 96,000 coins, which is a lot. Right now, I have 106,000 coins, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you get 96,000 coins per day, and you have VIP and the luck, or no, not VIP, but, like, the luck game pass and use a luck boost at the same time, then it becomes 0.04%, then pretty much every day, you will have a 38.4% chance of getting the godly. Now, if we factor in some more math to that, like how, wait, I need to reset. I, uh-oh, uh the Titan Clock Man fell apart. Uh, we're just gonna walk straight past that. Okay, so summoning nine, or summoning 10 actually only costs 900, so then you save 10%. So if you only do summon 10, then you basically have a 10% higher chance to get it, because you'll basically get one for free. So then your chance goes up to 42.24%. Now, if you factor in the math, if you have on auto sell. Wait, let me use a luck boost so I can calculate this easier. You end up getting 21.478% of your coins back if you have auto sell on and you auto sell everything up to godly. So then at the end, having an extra 21% of your coins gives you an extra 21% chance to get it because you can summon 21% more of the time. So at the end of the day, by doing that strategy, you have a 62.4% chance to get a godly. Not 9,999 godlies, but that's still a pretty good chance to get a godly. Personally though, I think the best strategy is trading because I've seen people literally go from nothing to a godly in a single day just by trading and then after you get a godly, you can trade that for a lot more things and then you can probably get multiple godlies within a day if you're really good at trading, but let's go to the next way to get free godlies. I need free godlies. Free godly, claim new reward from developer. I need to claim new reward from developer. Congrats, you want a godly 3000 claim free. No way, I do not remember making this menu we are cooking i need to subscribe to get godly like to get upgraded titan cinema man and if i ignore it, i get camera woman too okay i have the best strategy like subscribe and then i undo it so i ignore it and then i get all three well i, I don't know how he got it but i like how many effects there are this is some pretty nice editing trading old godly five mythics okay i have still not figured out how to get a free godly i need to upgrade my my strategy. I am going to go over here and use uh, another luck boost to get more luck in finding a video on how to get a free godly. VIP gives free godly and toilet tower defense. Nah, -uh. hold up. Are these bot accounts or something? 
it's just like t four random letters and then gaming and they have like the same title, thumbnail and stuff. Update, Toilet Tower Defense 2024, codes. I need codes, I didn't even know we still have codes in the game, I thought we removed those a long time ago. What is this? In this video we share new working codes! How to redeem codes, steps follow. Okay, I'm going to steps follow. We need to go over to the shop, we need to go over to gift, speaker upgrade, and then this guy. Okay, we need to type in speaker upgrade. Okay, they circled it and drew an arrow, but what's the next? They just drew like a check mark, I think? And then someone sent them a trade request? Okay, they, they just started typing something else. What? Okay, how do I redeem it? Do I press this? Are you sure you want to get one booster crate? What if I press yes? You don't have enough gems. Okay. Well, I don't know how that's a code. The next one is parasites. And then they just start typing another thing. Where is the code? Parasites. No, this guy is not a code. Um, and now they're showing the old codes. We had to remove codes when we added trading, because if someone redeemed the codes on an alt, they could just summon things, trade it to their main, and then keep making alts, use all the codes, and then repeat that process over and over again. So we had to do that. Either that, or we could have kept codes, but just made only one code active at once and give like 50 coins, which isn't enough for a summon, which would be like way little, so it wouldn't really be worth it. Bro, what is this? Now they're just straight up making things up like that's just random letters. <laughs> what is this one? How does this have 14 likes and zero dislikes? I do not understand. Bro, what is this AI generated keywords? Blush away your competition with these Roblox toilet tower defense codes that give you cash and other helpful in-game boosts to wipe your way to the top. Bro, there is- this is 100% AI generated for sure. Bro, if I go to their channel, it's just like- it, it looks auto-generated or something. It's just like all new codes. It's like the same style, and I guarantee some of these other games probably don't even have a code. How to get godly units every time is 0.1% upgraded Titan Speaker Man and 99.9% .9 upgraded Titan Cinema Man. No way! TOS breaking Robux website sponsorship. And you also gotta download it. That doesn't seem- suspicious at all. Okay, watch the whole video and he basically just said you can use luck boosts to get the luck game pass or trade for them, and um, I'll think that's getting godly units every time, but I mean, that is not bad advice. Uh, this is completely unrelated, but I found this video, new post office bug, <laughs> you can send fractions of a gem, 1.39 gem. Uh, I think we need to get Evan to fix that. I do not think that's supposed to be how the post office works. And also, Oh, this person got two untradeable speaker men. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be how that goes. But speaking of Evan fixing it, he still needs to make it where if someone's banned, they're not on the leaderboard. I've told him like three or four times to do that. Anyways, uh, as far as I know, there is no way to get a free godly and toilet tower fence. The best way though is definitely just by trading. Like you can trade a godly for maybe like five or six mythics if you get lucky and then trade those mythics like if you get lucky three or four for a godly and then just slowly build up profiting mythics slowly get more godlies and you can probably get at least a few godlies a day by doing that but there is no way to magically get a free godly and there's no way to enter codes inside the gifting menu either my highest wave is only 74 right now i i gotta come up with some more strategies because people have gotten all the way up to 105 at the moment and to be on the leaderboard you need to have gotten to at least 87. Looks like a lot of people are using a Sinister Titan TV man, because actually if you get the 50% boost on him, then he ends up doing 90k DPS, which is more than the 71k DPS of the upgraded Titan Cinema Man. So wait, why I just realized why is why is upgraded Titan Cinema Man's range on the bottom, but then <laughs> Sinister Titan TV's man range is second? Looks like some of them have DPS and the range just like are randomly changed. What is this? Evan needs to fix that too. But that's gonna be it for the video, so as always like, subscribe, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.